I'll give you an example, such as, oh, the sun's easy. We're all familiar with the sun. In order to read the temperature of the sun, all you're going to do is go down, follow it down. It's about here. And again, they, uh, to estimate that would be maybe 5,500 degrees. And then to see what color it is, you'd go down a little bit more and see that it's yellow. It's part of the yellow stars. Now it's luminosity. You follow the dotted line over and it has a luminosity of one. Now the sun is part of a very large grouping of stars, the largest grouping of stars, something called the main sequence. The main sequence makes up most of the stars in our galaxy and the universe. And there are others like red giants, supergiants, blue supergiants, white dwarfs. Those are other groups of stars. And of course, we have the red dwarfs here. Now, temperature is directly related to color. Notice, the hotter you go, the color changes. So real cool stars happen to be red, then yellow for warmer, hotter stars are white, the hottest are blue. Now, if we look up here, it says luminosity relative to the sun. Now, first you need to know what luminosity means. We can pretty much know what relative to the sun means. That just means compared to the sun. Over here, we have an explanation of luminosity. Luminosity is the brightness of stars compared to the brightness of our sun, as seen from the same distance from the observer. So we're comparing how bright it is compared to the sun if we brought it to the same distance from us. Notice as you go up, you get very, very bright stars like Rigel, Betelgeuse, and we have Polaris. And as you go up on the chart, they're brighter because they are bigger. Notice up here, it says massive stars. The bigger they are, the brighter they are. And that's the whole point of having these up here. These are huge stars, much, many, many times the mass of our sun. And up here at the very top, it would be a million times the mass of our sun, if our sun had a mass of one. As you go down, you get smaller stars. That's why they call them dwarfs. And those tend to be much dimmer and harder to see.